Alrighty guys, in this phase of the Toyota Tundra LU cabin project, we are looking to put a board here to uh, mount all of the control panels to a fuse uh, breaker as well. And um, all of this will be fed by the Red Arc system, um, which will come in through an Anderson plug down here that I got to rig up. I went ahead and bought the Goose Gear board. Got it at CB adventure supply really easy so you can see here i've already mounted these brackets these brackets are kind of funny they come in two different ways they've got the side here and they've got the side here so depending on the depth in which you want the the brackets you can mount them either way so if you want them a to stick out further you mount the fat side to the wall there and if you want them to not stick out as far you mount the skinny side to it and gives you a little bit more plate to mount to so they and a cool little design there to be able to do it both ways. As you can see, I've already mounted two here to kind of start gauging how the plate would set in. I think it sets in fine here. So that's generally how the plate's gonna sit. Um, I'm gonna have to measure and drill some holes in it. So uh, whenever I get it ready to mount, we'll go from there. Okay, time for a control panel update. Been working all day in the back of the uh, cabin on the electrical stuff, wiring everything up. Um, this will bring us up to speed on the panel itself. I've got the aux beam uh, light controller mounted. And as you can see on the back side is just a little hole for the cable to come through and that'll wire to the control panel for it or the, the fuse panel. And then I drilled a hole here. That hole was uh, to accommodate the Red Arc control panel which has some cabling here, just needs to come through. So that will mount right there. And then I have another one of these on order, except it's got three. It's got a, a um, voltmeter on it as well. So it'll go here. And then I'm gonna mount this fuse here. And so power will come up through a hole here to that come out go back down into there to a bus bar and that bus bar will then go to here and here and power the whole back panel. This fuse will allow me to kill the whole back panel except for the red arc obviously because it's self-powered. From Okay guys, it's been a minute since we've uh, gone over this panel that I'm building. Shown some pictures of uh, the original design, um, then the progress of the design and then this is how it basically ended up. You got the aux beam control panel here where it controls all of the lights. Um, the fan for the heater. I'm gonna plug a few more things in here. I'm gonna add some lights to the outside, so I'll plug all that in there. You can easily see it's basically just, you know, one button touch, everything goes off. Or you can have all the buttons go off at one time by touching the middle. Aux beam really makes an easy system. I don't know why anybody does anything different. Um, in the center, you'll see the Red Arc control panel for the Manager 30. Um, right now, I have it plugged into Shore Power, which is an extension cord by the NOCO plug-in that I uh, showed you all in the video on. And so right now, it's charging. It's learning the batteries. And um, charging basically right now at uh, 2.7 amps. So it's already topping them off and doing a little slowdown. Uh, on the bottom here, you'll see you have a Blue C power, a DC power um, panel. We've got an auxiliary panel here where we put it in and turn to lock. We have the USB plugs here, which are both 2.1. Uh, so it's high speed, and then a voltage meter here always comes in handy. And then a circuit breaker here that will turn everything off except the red arc because that's wired directly to the battery. Oh, and it all connects here directly from the battery. Um, I have an Anderson plug here, so if I ever need to disconnect this panel completely and um, from the power, I can. Let's turn it around and I'll show you the god awful mess that I've been figuring out for the last. Uh, a uh, day or so. Um, okay, so I'll try to make this nice and easy. Um, power comes in here and goes to the breaker, then comes up through here to this bus bar. I only needed two, so that was nice and easy. Everything ties into that, so power to the control panel for the lights. Um, 
this cable here connects to the red arc control panel. Um, power here going down to the auxiliary connectors for uh, the power panel from uh, Blue C. And then you've got here all the cabin uh, wiring that comes in. Um, purple wire obviously goes to the uh, reverse light up top. Um, that's uh, then the ground for the cabin is coming in through here. This ground ties into the backup light, so that grounds it up there. And um, then all these are the cabin lights, stock lights, and the uh, LED. This uh, panel here will go over these lights. I mean, go, this panel will go over this panel to cover that, the cover for that. This is the heater on the other side, that um, uh, the Dickinson heater that blows out the heat. Sorry, I'm tired, guys. This has been a long couple of days trying to get all this rigged up. And I'm going to take some uh, tie downs and I'm going to tie all these wires down so they lay flat, just like I've started doing here and uh, here, just trying to trying to control them. This hole here is pretty deep, but you know I want to make sure that it's nice and clean, doesn't touch you know anything by just sheer happenstance. But uh... okay, folks, the panel is in and it was a pain in the butt. Um, in hindsight, I've got too much behind this panel. I know I said I had a lot of space, but the problem is everything is behind the panel. Everything is just bound up in there. I sealed everything and you know covered everything with shrink wrap and stuff, so it's protected, but things like the control box for the panel here, I probably should have like put it down here, you know, where I have more room. All this wiring here is going to be covered up with cabinets. This uh, solar panel wire will be ran down the the corridor here to the manager 30 uh, whenever I'm ready to do the solar panels. But um, it's in there. It's solid. Everything is working. Nothing's arcing, so we're good. Uh, we've got full control over everything here, as you can see. Everything is running as it should. And these little lights here, uh, I think they're going to stay on pretty much permanently, but um, I can always kill it by this uh, circuit here. But we have lights. And that's really the big uh, concern. And the fan from the heater comes on. That is uh, the panel install. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments. If you want to see more installs uh, as we chronicle the Toyota Tundra Alu Cabin build, um, go ahead and like and subscribe, and we will uh, be posting almost weekly with, uh, with this build out. It's coming fast and furious. See you on the trails, guys.